Hey folks, John Ferguson Smart here. I want to come back to a point that well, it keeps coming back. I keep seeing it appearing. The question is, can you write user stories using the Gherkin format, using the given when then notation? It's become quite popular. I see it often people will say that that is the correct way to write user stories. You've got to use this given when then structure. I would say that the answer is no. Don't write given user stories using the given when then notation. Don't ask business folk to do that. Don't ask BAs, don't ask end users to use this given when then notation because given when then that structure, what we call Gherkin, it's a syntax. It's a structured format that allows you to express user acceptance criteria, allows you to express business rules in a very clear business readable way. But it is nevertheless a technical language. It's nevertheless something that needs skill and practice to write. That is why in a BDD process, we never go near given when then until quite far into the conversation. Business people use it to understand, to verify that, that we have recorded the correct thing, that we have understood their needs and that they can verify then that the application actually does what it is supposed to do. But the idea is not that they write given when thens initially. Given when then is too technical and too, uh, well, it's painful to write if you're a BA, you try to write natural language, you try to express your ideas. If you get stilted into this given when then structure too early, it just makes things hard for you. It's a, it's a technical format that is designed to be used in what we call the formulate stage where testers or whoever's doing the test automation will be able to express it in a way that can be both automated and that documents business requirements. But don't mix it up. Don't try and do it too early. If you try and do it too early, you will get into trouble. So that's my little tip for today. Thanks for listening, folks.